Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Blood Sagittarium. My name is Robin and Sag, today we're going to do a general reading. So we're just going to find out what's going on, what messages spirit guides want to pass along to you, what you need to know. Let's talk about your Sag. Spirit guides, what do you want to say? Peace. All right. And with that, we have breathe. Ooh, okay. So they want you to be at peace with something. <laughs> so peace breaks down to 23, which also, which is five, which is also representative of change, sometimes a little bit of chaos, but ultimately something change is changing in your life um, that they want you to be comfortable with. So let's see what this is. What's going on here with Sag Spirit guys? What do you want to say? What is happening with the Sagittarius Collective? And Sag, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. So if you want one of those, the link is in the description box below. There's conflict. So we have the Five of Wands. We have the Empress. We have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Oh, what else do we have here for Sage? The Two of Swords. Okay. Oop. The Page of Cups. Oh, and the Page of Coins in reverse. We have two pages. The Eight of Cups in reverse. What else do we have here for Sage? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups in reverse. So what's with that King of Cups? Seven of Cups. And Judgment. Hmm. Let's see who this King is. Um, so it could be a water sign that you're dealing with or that you're in conflict with. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But ultimately, this person is um, making the choice to be unreasonable. <laughs> If that makes sense. Um, let's see what's going on here. Five of Wands. What is this conflict for Sagittarius? What do you want to say here, Spirit Guides? So the Ten of Swords in reverse. The High Priestess in reverse. The Five of Wands in reverse. Huh. On the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Well, by golly, everything's upside down. But there's the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> okay. So... So the fact is, some secrets came out. Something was revealed. Like you've realized something about somebody. So you've you've realized, like, look at judgment. This monkey is looking up at that at that at that sun, and he's like, "Damn, I've had this like ah oh, this realization here." You've realized something about this person, and you're becoming at peace with it. <laughs> so it's like you're not really fighting it anymore. You've seen the situation or the person. I was thinking person, but could be situation. You see it for what it is. You understand um, it's time to move on, really. Yeah, the Six of Cups in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune. It's time to put the mad, the, it's time to just put that behind you and move forward. You're the damn Empress here, Sag. So you're coming up as the Empress. So the Empress is all the queens in one. But the Empress also gets what she wants because she manifests what she wants. She goes after what she wants. She doesn't dwell on the past. She doesn't focus on things that don't benefit her. She, she, both of these characters are praying if we look at that. So they're both meditating. They're both silencing their mind. They're both trusting in the divine to guide them. So the Empress is a good energy to be in, which is your energy. And you're, yeah, the Page of Wands in reverse and the Nine of Cups in reverse. So whatever it was that disappointed you, <laughs> whatever it was that, um, wow, something really did disappoint you, Sag. Something did not turn out. There's the Hierophant. Something that you were committed to here. But, um... It didn't turn out and it disappointed you for sure, but you're dropping that baggage. You're putting that behind you. And we have the two of swords. I feel like this is you blocking it, but let's make sure. What is the two of swords here for Sag? What do you want to... There you are. The four... Oh. Huh. And the nine of cups. In reverse, we stay together. Oh, they all stay together. Oh, look at this. So... The Four of Swords. So I feel like you've been patient. Like, I feel like you've been very patient. There's a lot of cards of patience. So, but the thing is, the universe is out of patience. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. So we're going to find out what they want to give you. They're trying to give you something, but you're blocking it. You're not, yeah, you're blocked. There's a Two of Pentacles. You're making the decision to not see it, Sag. What it, that the wheel of, it's time. That's all I can say. It's time. So, um, the Eight of Cups tells me that there might be, the Eight of Cups in reverse, there might be some regrets that you're holding on to. Um, maybe that's what you're conflicted about. What do you want to say about the, yeah, the Tower, 
the Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Cups in reverse, and the Three of Cups, and the World, what? And the Lovers, <laughs> and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So, okay. Here's a situation. Here's a dealio. It makes sense at this point what's going on here. So the thing is, whatever you regretted, whatever was that that situation, that situation's kind of coming back around. This King of Cups here, this person that's making the decision to be this King of Cups in reverse, they also have regrets. Maybe these are not your regrets. Maybe these are their regrets. Maybe they've learned some lessons here, but they're coming back here, Sag. Uh, they want to put the past behind you with the tower here. This is going to be a moment where you're not really expecting this. You're going to be like, what the mother is going on? Um, so you're just the Knight of Pentacles mode. Like you're in Knight of Pentacles in Empress mode. So this is their energy. It's, um, you know, we clarified as we go through. <laughs> but you're you're single. So whoever this reading is for, you're single. You're independent. You don't need anybody. You're working on, you're, you're doing your own thing. You're just enjoying life. You just got your head down, doing what you got to do, just being you. But... This person wants to come back here because they're not very happy without you. Um, they're ready to put it behind you and you don't really see it coming. I mean, this guy's naked. So we had no idea anyone was coming over. And then the next thing you know, he's falling out of his tower, buck naked. That's got to be a little embarrassing. So make sure your house is clean. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe someone's going to pop by and you do not want your counter to be filled with dishes or something. So um, that's a strange message, but it did come out. So I feel like someone's going to be kind of popping up in a very surprising way. Not in a way you're expecting it. Somebody that I feel like you were at peace with that. You'd move past that. Whatever it was that happened between you and this person, it, you were at peace with it. Um, but the thing is, they're not. <laughs> and they've learned some lessons here. And they're coming to talk to you. So we got the page, of the page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So let's first talk about who it is. Who is this for Sag? Who is this King of Cups? I mean, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But look, what else can you say about that? Very good. The Five of Cups in reverse. The Star. The Four of Wands. Mm -hmm -hmm. And the Wheel of Fortune. Well, this is a person who genuinely needs to put the past behind you. This is, could be an Aquarius. Um, could be another Sag. I always think this is the card of Sag. It could be you. As a five of pentacles. So someone that was um someone that wants to fix things, but someone that left things out, someone that you do have a bad <laughs> you have a bad history, a bad past with this person. But they've healed. Like after the tower comes the star. So you've had the tower moment, they've had that with you. They want to work on this with you. Um, whoever it is, they're coming in for commitment, they're coming in for long-term stability, they're coming in for harmony to create happiness with you. They've learned some lessons here, Sag. So they're not happy without you. Woo! There's King Swords. They're ready to deal with these problems. They're ready to deal with these obstacles. They're ready to face this head on. What's up after that? Hermit in reverse. There's a second card of being lonely. So it could be lonely without you feeling sad. What is the Page of Pentacles in reverse? What's their lesson? What are they going to tell Sad here? Ten of Swords in reverse. Uh -oh. Let's see. So a ten of there's a start. Definitely. Could Look at this. The star and the tower and the six of cups. Wow. And the six of swords in reverse. So someone who absolutely thinks you're their soulmate, they've realized that um, whatever it was that happened, this fight, this conflict, this disagreement, they've realized that you are their soulmate, that they haven't been able to move past this. They're ready to heal this, like two cards of healing and dreams come true. But again, so not only did you have a tower moment, but they did too when they lost you or whenever it was that happened, um, whatever it was that happened back there. There's again, the card of soulmate. So uh, they could be coming, they could be popping up with a gift. Like they could just show up at your house with roses and, and a wine and say, let's talk. Um, I am visualizing that in my head, but I do feel like this person wants to surprise you, catch you off guard. I feel like that will, um, you know, put you in a rosy mood, make you feel fuzzy. <laughs> mm. Make them, <laughs> they're, they're going about this very strategically. So they know you. Um, they're going to pop up on you. They've learned that they don't want to be without you. Um, yeah, they're lonely. They're, look at what I left behind. Yeah. They want to, they're, yeah, they don't want to miss out on this opportunity with you, Saj. So you got someone in, they bring, you know, they just want peace. <laughs> Let's get a few Oracle messages and we'll find out where you and this person are in a month. Again, it could be a water sign. What else we got? What is the care connection for Saj and this person? 
Cherish. Cherish your relationship. Okay. And what does Saj need to surrender to when it comes to this? Person, what do you want to say? Surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you. And the hidden truth, Saj. What do they want to say that they can't say? What do they want to say that they're not saying? Or what are they not going to say that the spirit guides want you to know? Let's find out. They left before you could leave me. Ah, maybe that's why there was this conflict back there. People who are afraid of rejection reject others before they get a chance to reject them, right? That their insecurities control them. Energy Oracle message here for Sagittarius. Yes, what you want to say? Bye bye. All tied up in reverse. Woman holding a heart in reverse. Temple path in reverse. Appreciation in reverse. Well, damn. The angel of strength in reverse and the sun in reverse. This person's really scared to open their heart, but they know that not valuing you and not appreciating you, not going forward with you is off of their course. They truly feel like you're their soulmate here, Sad. This person genuinely believes you two should be together. Um, they don't want their inability like to, to open up or give their heart away. Stop this. So despite how nervous they are, despite how, yeah, there's, mm -hmm. so despite how nervous they are, despite how scared they are, the sun in reverse, they don't think they're good enough for you. Um, they're coming because they're, they know you're their path. They're convinced of that, that you're their soulmate. Let's see how you feel about this. Let's see how you feel, Sagittarius. So let's get your potential outcome. So when I say potential, there's always free will. You're going to make the choices you're going to make. And when I say outcome, oh, that was weird. The tower again. I think that bad boy came out like three times in this reading. <laughs> Let's find out what the outcome is when I say outcome a month from now. Where are you? Spirit guides, what does Sagittarius do about this? How does Sagittarius react? How are this person doing? Are they together? Are they working on things? Sag is somebody different. <laughs> We're Sagittarius. So we have the seven of wands in reverse, the four of pentacles in reverse, the sun in reverse. Can't see that card or that one. We're going to have to wait a moment and I shall get them. Okay, the Eight of Cups in reverse. I know there was another one that flipped. I have a hard time with this deck, but let's go this way because it'll make it easier to find it. Well, maybe there wasn't another one. That... Oh, oh, okay, those weren't. Well, it was, there's something it wants to flip. Okay, so on the bottom of the deck, we have the Fool in reverse. What just flipped out here? What's going on? We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. We have a lot of cards. The Hermit in reverse, King of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. So... And the Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. This, I feel like you're guarded, first of all, but um, you're guarded, okay? This person's trying to, this person has a lot of regrets about what happened. They're trying to let go of these doubts and these insecurities, and they are, because the Four of Pentacles and the Sun in reverse is here. So they're releasing that, they're letting go of that, they're not letting their fears and their doubts control them, which is good. Um, the Hermit in reverse tells me that they're feeling lonely and isolated, left out without you. Um, but with the King of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords here, you might think this person's selfish. And so I see hesitancy on your end. You might feel like they want to take, 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 and they don't always give, give, give. It's not balanced. And you're going to do what's best for you. So I see, um, what's under that? The five, yeah, I, you've put the past behind you, and you, yeah, there's, you think they're unreliable, but you're giving it, you're, you're, I don't know, you're here, you're with this person, but you have doubts about this person. I think you think they're selfish. But nobody's perfect, everybody has flaws, so it's up to you to determine if you can get past those or not, which I see right now. You're putting yourself first, but you're engaging with this person. Like, I feel like what you're thinking is you'd be foolish if you didn't. So you feel like you have a strong connection, um, but you do feel like there's an essence of selfishness towards this person, um, and you just, you're going to guard your heart and make sure that they're giving as much as they're taking before you open that heart all the way up, so... That's what I got for you, Sash. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope it resonated. Hope it benefited you. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. Helps others get the message. I always appreciate that. Let's get your final message here. What you want to say? There are days I drop words on myself. Sorry, I comfort on myself like falling leaves and remember that it's enough to be taken care of. Schedule 15 minutes in your day for your favorite hobby or activity with no objective other than bring yourself pleasure. When you recover or discover something that nourishes your soul and brings joy, care enough about yourself to make room for it in your life. Take a time out today. That's two of them. <laughs> and treat yourself to an energetic pick-me-up. 
very clear message. I hope you enjoy your day, Saji. Until next time.